All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, this is Rob, Death Rain333, working on your PSP models. Uh, basically, uh, what I'm going to show you today is how to install the Hold Plus version for your PSP running on custom firmware. You need to be on custom firmware in order for this to work, just to let you know. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up the... Uh, I'm going to show you the folder, or the file, my mistake, that I'm going to have you download. And uh, it's an SE plugin. It's going to be called Hold Plus Version 4.0. And uh, <clears throat> what you're going to do is right click on that if you don't have an extraction program and extract files to your desktop. If you do, double click on that and open that up with your extraction program. And inside the zip file, you're going to see the hold.prx and readme text. The readme text is just basically there to give you a run up on what hold does. Basically what hold plus does is when you're on your PSP and uh, normally without this installed if you put the hold button on you can't use your keys or your joystick or anything. With hold plus you put you put the hold button down and it shuts off your screen all your LCDs and it puts your CPU down to 64. So this is good if you want to save battery power, like if you're taking a walk or something and you're listening to music, things like that. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, take um, that, leave it over there, and uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, put this on your PSP. So uh, basically what we're going to do is go to computer, and I'm going to connect the USB with the PSP. Uh, and uh, what I'm going to do here is simply open up the PSP memory stick and go to the PSP folder. Oh, wrong one. My bad. Ooh. Um, okay, so what you're going to want to do is right click and select new and you're going to hit folder. Once you do that, rename the folder SE plugins in all lowercase letters. Then double click and open that up. Come to your extraction program or the extracted files and drag and drop the hold.prx inside there. And uh, I've already done that, but I'm just going to hit move and replace. And you can see the hold.prx is right there, plain as day. Then what you're going to do is right click and hit new and text document. And you're going to make two of these. You're going to call one VSH and you're going to call the other one game. And inside both of those text files, you're going to write this right here, simply like that. It's going to be called ms0 colon forward slash se plugins forward slash hold dot prx space one. Once that's done, you're going to select file and save in both of them and exit the text document. Now, once that is done, make sure the game text document is there and the VSH text document is there along with the hold dot prx se plugin file. Once that is complete, you're going to exit that. You can exit your extraction program, and then what you're going to simply do is go into the recovery menu on your PSP, which accessing that is very easy just because um, you just have to hold the power button up and uh, pretty much wait until the power goes off, then hold down the R trigger and turn it back on, go to your recovery menu, go to plugins, and enable the hold plus for um, your game and your VSH and you're pretty much good so that's about it and I hope you enjoy the plugin thanks for watching